Hello, hello, Kenny Evans here, another car video. The topic of this video is Kevin Samuels, you look average at best, video review. So obviously this is a video that's gone viral these past few weeks, so I'm a little late to the party. You know, and um, hey, I'm sure you've seen a lot of reviews and videos on this uh, viral video that Kevin Samuels had. Now I'm going to jump in and do my part, you know, and um, so give my own personal perspective and I'm going to not only link Kevin Samuel's video, the viral video to uh, the description. I'm also going to link another video where the girl, I believe her name is Jessica. She spoke on another video about the Kevin Samuel's um, situation and also uh, dating and it's actually an internet dating um, coach that she went to. I'm going to link that video in the description as well because I'm going to be referring to that video just a little bit, but I'm going to be referring to it. So, shall we begin? <laughs> so, the first thing I want to mention here is that Kevin Samuels actually talks to a lot of his female um, guests that call in like that. He actually talks to the women like that. You know, he's more firm and cold with them because he believes they need to be told what to do, especially if they ask for his advice. You know, so I didn't actually think he was rude, you know, because I've watched his, his, his content in the past and that's just how he is with women who he talks to. You know, so it's not a big deal. I and mean, it's actually nice, in my opinion, because normally he goes back and forth. Boom, boom, boom. He'll mute the woman and keep on talking, unmute her. If she's going, if she's rude, disrespectful, and mute her again and go talking. And of course, if she brings her back again and she's still disrespectful talking, he will kick her out, you know, and then still talk and actually cuss at her and talk bad about her, you know, but. He was pretty nice up until the end, you know what I mean? Um, but that's just how he is. He's just more firm with women because he knows that's what they need. You know, it's just some women don't take it very well. You know, as much as this woman didn't really go back too much back and forth and she wasn't too aggressive, but she just, you know, she just, uh, you know, she, she, she's just kind of stuck in her way. You know what I mean? I'll mention that later here in the video. So, next, she actually called in to Kevin's show on a disagreement day asking for dating advice. And some of you guys may think, like, what's the big deal about that? You know, she just wanted to get a question asked and answer it, you know, by Kevin. The problem is, that is a major sign of disobedience. And now I'm going to explain how. She knew it was disagreement day. But she did not respect Kevin's show or Kevin. And she did not care enough to either buy a private consultation or wait till another day to call into a show. And even when Kevin told her it was, dis it was a disagreement day and what was her disagreement, she still proceeded to ask her question. Kevin did let her continue to ask a question because he wanted to make an example of her, but she could have easily said, no, well, you know, I'm going to just call back another day or I'm going to get a private conversation, consultation. And she didn't. And this is a guy she's actually looking up to for, for advice. So she respects his opinion or she respects him. Imagine how she's going to be with guys who she just met or she is dating. You could tell it's just a sign of disrespect and disobedience. You could tell she's a disobedient woman. You know, so that is that is the reason that's such a big deal. It's just a major sign of disobedience. And then on top of that, she did not take his advice. 
she did not take his advice. So from what she said, she was a 35 year old, 35 years young, excuse me, single mother of a 13 year old. Her, 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 her baby daddy isn't in the picture. He is a little sketchy. Wasn't a really good, quali- high quality man. He was a he was a weak man. He was a low quality man for her. She even said that. And now she wants a six figure earner. You know. He pretty much told her that you should stick to an average man because you know you got all these red flags. <laughs> You, you got to stick to, you know, an average man. You know, he was like a six-figure earner. What would they want to deal with a woman who has all these red flags for? When they could deal with a, a younger, more attractive woman who's easier to mold. I mean, he was just being rational. He wasn't being rude. He wasn't yelling. He was just being rational. But then she was like, well... You know, I mean, so what can I do to get a six-figure man? He already told her, <laughs> you can't. <laughs> but she's like, what can I do? You know what I mean? So it was like, she didn't want to take his advice. And um, it was just kind of like going in circles. But again, I guess he he, 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 he wanted to keep her on to let the viewers know the type of women are out there making an example of her. And again, it just showed her disobedience. You know, so she definitely um, just wasn't open to the advice. But then after he asked her to rate herself, um, she rated herself. And I got to preface this. This is where the video I was going to refer to. Um, from the online dating coach. I forget her name, but I'll put the link in the description so you can watch it yourself. She said the video was the uh, video with Kevin Samuels was cut where you didn't mention or we didn't watch where he said, you know, Beyonce's at eight and, you know, yeah, I don't know. He, he, Kevin Samuels likes Dorothy Dandridge. Dorothy Dandridge, I believe he said is a 10. And, you know, so she was under the impression Beyonce's at eight. And he's and then Kevin Samuel says you can't um you can't um, rate yourself as a seven. You know, high standards. You know, but even then, even if you don't rate yourself as a seven, I'm gonna get back to that actually here in a second. But she rated herself a, a five without makeup and a six with makeup. So barely av- above average. And where, regardless of whatever the, the the criteria were, that shows signs of 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 low self of low self esteem. You don't. She doesn't have a high. Uh, 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 um, she doesn't have a high self esteem when it comes to her face, regardless of whatever Kevin Samuel's criteria was. Because even if you can't rate yourself a seven, rate yourself an eight, rate yourself a nine. Write yourself a 10. Let him talk bad about you and think you crazy. But at least it shows high self-esteem. At least it shows that you feel good about yourself. And I get it. It was just the face. But still, what are you doing to make your face look the best? You know men are visual. You have to make sure you are on your tit, your P's and Q's. The best you can be in all aspects of your life. Not only just how you look, but your personality too. But you raise yourself a five and a six with makeup? That was a huge red flag. Huge red flag. You know, and then when Kevin asked her, what do you bring, what can you bring to a man's life? She was pretty much saying that she would bring, you know, business acumen. She would be able to help a man with the business and, you know, Help him, you know, uh, you know, pretty much help him with the business. She did not bring anything. She did not say she would bring anything that would actually add value to a man's life in terms of like submission. She didn't say she would cook. She can clean. She's easygoing. She'll be, you know, sexually active. 
you know, I sex drive with the man or I give him as much sex as he wants. And I mean, she said she could give him business ideas. Not even that she could help him with his business, but she could give him business ideas because she's a six figure earner. But she doesn't understand a man, a six figure earner, does not need your help with the business or business ideas. Sure, if you want to help him with his business, sure, he'll take that. Free labor is always good, <laughs> even though it's not free if you're married. You know what I mean? But she didn't mention anything about making his life easier. Because a man's already a six figure earner, business is not a major problem. How he, how he will be. Feeling when he's at home or with you could be if you're only about helping him in with business, but not with submitting to him and making his life easier and better and more fun. You know, so she definitely just had a lot of issues going on and she just didn't. She's just like the modern woman. And it's not just black women, you know, Kevin Samuels and some others talking about how it's black women are like this, but it's other women of other races, too. I've experienced, you know what I mean? So that was huge. That was huge. You know, and last but not least, towards, towards the end of the, 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 uh, the interview or the, um, the video, she pulled out her phone. You know, if you look at that video that I'm going to link when it comes to, um, that online dating coach that she talked to female online dating coach, she said she was looking at the chats in the comments in the chat. But it was, if you look at it, you could tell there was ill intent. She was looking at that mug, smiling, literally. And, you know, a few times. Then she would go back, and at the very end, she was just looking at it, smiling, pretty much ignoring Kevin as he was talking. And I get it, it was because she felt, she was, that was her way of being disrespectful. She didn't like what he was saying, so she wanted to be disrespectful. Anybody, not even just a man, but anybody, man or woman, you see somebody looking at your phone at their phone while you're talking to them, that's a sign of disrespect. I don't care, I don't care where you're from. That's a sign of disrespect. And she meant to disrespect him. That's the reason she was looking at her phone. And that's another reason, another sign of disobedience. That's another reason why she's single. And she'll never be able to ha have a six-figure earner, husband, or a qua a strong man. Because when a man is telling you something you don't like, you want to ignore him and, and purposely dis disrespect him. You know what I mean? I mean, that was just terrible. That was just terrible, you know? So, and then eventually he hung up on her after that. He hung up on her, you know? So, that is just crazy, bruh. It's crazy. And he was saying the whole, you're average at best because he rated her and you know, and then she was kind of go like, well, I want to have some advice. And then he mentioned, hey, you'll die alone. Because you just, he was like, you're not listening. You're having all these high standards, but you're not listening. You don't want an average man, but you're average at best. You know, so that's the whole thing. That was my review. I feel I get a little hype right here, but it just, it's just crazy because you just see these women who want the world, but I mean, just using Kevin Sanders' words, they're average at best, you know, and they don't know they're not willing to give the world to get the world, you know, so it is what it is. I'm sure y'all see some more reviews and this is just my take. I appreciate y'all listening and watching, you know, let me know what y'all think. Y'all think I'm crazy. You think you, uh, you know, I'm right, you know, uh, let me know. And of course, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification button. And, um, you know, let me know what other videos you'd like me to talk about here in the future. And, of course, if you found value in the video, I appreciate donations. Donations are always welcome. And I appreciate the love from people who do donate. You know, I really do. So, until next week, remember, a strong man is a happy man. Peace.